Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Pisces friends and friends of Pisces. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Pisces, if you are new here, I do go over channel messages. We look at Oracle cards and then get into tarot messages. If you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I'm happy to have you here along with me on this journey that we call life, this crazy life. So Pisces, looking at your energy in meditation, there were a couple things that came through. Um, there is a symbol that I'm going to share with you here. It's not a new symbol as far as what's been channeled, but I was brought back to this. Uh, Aquarius actually had the same symbol come up too. It came through in the Cancer reading back in February. So it's called the motion of movement. If you want to pause this, you can draw this out so that you can use its magic. Magic. So the motion of movement here. The instruction with this is to sleep on it, to put this in your pillowcase or to put it underneath your pillow. I do very much get the uh, the need for movement right now, like um, divine masculine energy, even action. Now is the time to take action on something, especially with that. Um, uh, the spotlight is on you. I haven't even got to that part yet. Um, the spotlight is on you is a component that came through in meditation. So back to this, though, finishing that up, I'm getting ahead of myself. Putting this under your pillow or in your pillowcase at night with the intention as you're going to sleep to get something moving uh, yourself, a goal of yours, energy that may be stuck as well. OK, um, so in meditation, the spotlight is on you is what came through. Um, I feel like not that you guys are being watched, you know, like you're in a zoo or anything like that, but your spiritual team is paying attention. You yourself, your higher self is paying attention to the choices that you're making right now too. Like this is your, you're on stage. It's your solo, right? It's the, your aria that you're singing. It's your turn for your soliloquy. Okay. Everybody is watching you and it's not not from a weird standpoint, it's, uh, it's your turn to shine. Okay. The next thing that came through as I was meditating, my left leg actually started falling asleep. And it was bizarre because I don't I'm not sitting cross legged or anything like that. Uh, it's the same position that I sit in every meditation it started falling asleep. The message that I got from that was being the, the left side, the divine feminine, the divine feminine is sleeping or the divine feminine maybe needs to sleep. Not as a permanent state, but with this message in particular, what's coming through, like I said, the divine masculine, there is a need to take action on something right now. Now is the time for action, okay? Something you've been planning for quite some time, now is the time to do something. So let's look at the oracle cards that were pulled for you here. Um, <laughs> so in meditation, I before I record, sometimes I pull them on camera, sometimes I don't. It depends on what spirit wants me to do. These were all pulled off camera prior and spirit said uh because i always ask which deck are we using or which decks and they said all of them and i said all of them <laughs> and they said all of them so here we are pisces here we are um we'll just go down the line you did get one from each deck that i i currently have so in the archetypes the wild unknown archetypes you guys have the one so the one this is about non-duality this is about one love unus mundus which is the circle it is all encompassing love. This energy or this force exists in the deepest crevices of our own experience, way out there in space. Um, we experience this energy from time to time, but it's not something that we experience all of the time. We do live in a dual world and it's important to, until any of that changes, we do have to contend with and make peace with and work with what it means to be a dual creature of light and shadow. But this energy in particular, this coming through, this is, um, there is nothing dual, okay? There's nothing split. There is no male, female. There is no up or down. There's no left or right. There's no light or shadow. There is just love. Uh, and this message actually, love, comes through pretty strongly here in, in uh, the rest of the Oracle cards here as well. Life is a gift. Mm, that's right. Life is a gift and we are both the receiver and the giver. I love that. There is, um, in thinking about that energy as well, I feel like that helps bring us into a state of universal love. 
like I said, it's not, we're not in a place yet anyway, where we are experiencing non-duality. It's important to still respect that we are human too, but, um, to realize that, okay, you're both the receiver and the giver of everything, of everything you do in your life, anything of light and shadow that you give, you will also receive too. Whatever you receive, you will at one point give or have given. Okay. So moving into the next one here, you guys, uh, blue angel Oracle, my past is friends. This one is Sananda three Sananda mind, body, spirit, um, the Holy Trinity. There are many threes in throughout our history woven throughout our history as human beings. It's a very powerful number. Sananda is the evolved name of Jesus. So this card talks about there's this universal and higher love that's a part of this as well. There's a reminder to uh, mastery is what this card is about. Sananda invites you to ascend into the heart of love. So connecting this to the one as well, that oneness is this love. It is a component of us. We are a part of this one as well, but we are living in a dual world of light and shadow. So um, this card in particular talks about light, though. Through light, everything is experienced and is healed. Um, what was it? There's something, I'm forgetting something there in the book. They're pulling me to. I'm trying to remember, Spirit. I'm, try, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> um, Ah, yes. Okay. You think you think you exist in this physical world, but in reality, the physical world exists through you. So we are not um, a physical thing having an experience. We are an experience producing another experience into physical existence. Okay. Um, thank you, spirit. It was like there and then it just whoosh, right out the door. Um, next card, you guys. This is the Starseed Oracle. You have jump in. This is Andromedan energy, adventure, and say yes to change. Okay, so the Andromedans, the Andromedan energy is very much about mastering as well, the uh, ebb and flow, the surfing of the tides of life. Saying yes to change is something that's really standing out to me about this card. Throughout this message, like I was saying with the Divine Masculine, now seems to be a time to take action on something. What have you been sitting on for quite some time? Is it your own evolvement? Is it your own ascension? Um, is it a job, a business that you want to start, a new hobby, a new relationship? You want to move somewhere. Many different things that this could be. Um, I do see, though, I want to show you these three cards. So to start with the one that looks kind of like a spotlight to me, it also sort of looks like an eye. If you tilt your head to the side and, and lazy your vision just a little bit, <laughs> um, looks like a spotlight here as well. And then on this card is a big old eyeball. So that message, like I said, you are being watched, okay? I don't mean that in a, in a creepy way. Just it's your turn to shine. You are on stage. You are center stage right now. It is your turn to show all of us what you got, okay? And I know you got something. I know you got something real nifty. So in the uh, Urban Crow Oracle, you guys got commitment, I love this coming through here too. So commitment, this is a reminder of commitments maybe we have made or getting prepared to make a commitment. If you have already made a commitment, it could be in the form of a relationship. This is reminding you to, um, to lean into those commitments, those vows that you've made. Not saying that things aren't changeable depending on your situation, but this is a reminder to yourself to go back and and um, step into what it what it is you promise to do for others or for yourself. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's more for yourself. I do get this very like potential energy that's been building up for some time that's getting ready to go somewhere. You have been practicing singing your soliloquy, like I said, your monologue, and um, it's opening night. All of that potential energy that you've been building and building now is your moment to come center stage and share you with the world, the universe, all of experience, okay? It's lovely. Don't be scared. It's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's pull um, an animal spirit oracle for you, and then we'll get into the tarot messages. 
Spirit, what do we have for Pisces here? My beautifully spiritual Pisces friends. Ooh. Starfish. Oh, I had the deck upside down. I, I don't show these don't come in reversal. Starfish. So I get a couple things on this. Um Starfish can be like a um a superficial energy about looks, right? And um I'm not saying there's anything wrong with taking care of yourself, caring about the way that you look, uh, taking pride in the way you look. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. What this is saying, though, is um, you're being asked to look at what it is that maybe you're clinging on to. Are you clinging on to, like, are your looks, okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Are your looks preventing you from doing something that you want to do? Um... Is that, is that the, uh, or the way that you might look, okay? How you might be perceived by others. Is that preventing you from stepping into doing something that you really want to do? If that's the case, get it out of here. Throw it out the window, okay? Um, I understand, like, I mean, <laughs> with what I do for work here, I'm very visible. And I've definitely gone through my moments too, um, especially as I've been dealing with a lot of skin issues here on camera, you know? Um, I get it. I will say, you guys, the, the one thing I want to share about that is the sun has spots too, okay? If this is you that may be struggling with something like that, whether it's specifically your skin, the way that you appear, or the way that others may be perceiving you, the sun has spots too. And what I mean by that is, um, well, the sun has spots too, and it still gives life. It still provides life to all of us. The sun is not a perfectly smooth surface, right? I think in a world of uh, filters and that sort of thing, we have gotten to a point where we've forgotten what human skin looks like. <laughs> I know I've struggled with it, okay? So if that's you personally, just um, hear me. You aren't alone and work to face that, okay? Work to release a grip on that. Don't worry so much about what others are gonna think about what you're doing. People are gonna talk shit whether you're doing bad or good, okay? Now is the time to make whatever change, um, one, two, three, four, 12, 34, whatever change you're wanting to make, okay? Say yes to change. Dive right on in. There's not going to be a more perfect time than right now. Okay, so this is the Fortuna deck. Let's get into your tarot messages. What do we have for Pisces spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of this video. There's also a join button right next to the subscribe button under the video. You can hit subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I do have personal readings open and available at this time. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description of the video to my website. I would be more than happy to help you at a more personal level. Okay. All right, start this off here. Two of keys. Hmm. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. Um, two of swords. So um, two of swords here is a decision. A crop being at a crossroads, a need to make a decision. This is uh, also kind of kind of feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place, hoping to find um, either another way through or to choose the right path. So what I'm getting with this here being in your hope, is that uh, the only wrong path is doing nothing, okay? It doesn't matter what, what it is that lights you up, what your heart is saying to do. That's the important part is that you do it, is that you follow through and you this commitment. You follow through with this commitment to yourself. Yeah, I love that. Time to make a choice, you guys. Shit or get off the pot, right? All right, what do we have here for Pisces, please, Spirit? This is the Phantasma deck we'll be using for your second deck. What's going on for Pisces? This is a general message, everybody, so please keep that in mind. You are extremely intelligent and intuitive, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind if there's any conflict, okay? Um, the world here at the split is standing out to me. Something coming to a close, major, major shift, major change, major change of pace, changing books even. You finished a major time in your life, or it's time to get started on something new, like we've been saying. Check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart. 
We do have every sign in our chart, just depends on where. So I encourage you to take a look. Um, your fear aversion, page of cups. So page of cups here, I do feel like for some of you, there is a component of um, a message that's coming through on this. Maybe you are, maybe you already are in the process of making this change, getting started on something. Maybe you're starting a new business. Maybe um, you've decided to try YouTube or Etsy or you want to move. You're, you're waiting for a message on whether you got approved for that apartment or that loan for that house, right? Um, I feel like the message that's coming through, three is standing out with Sananda. Um, presence okay mind body spirit the physical realm our root chakras root area um sacral chakras heart and the more mind chakras those all being balanced equate to you are now present you did it pisces you're present being in the present moment is um where bliss resides it's also where you're able to collapse in whatever it is that you are manifesting. So the message coming through is try not to stress about that, okay? Try to come back into the present moment. Continue to visualize whatever it is that you're working towards and creating. The Page of Cups is also about um, uh, pulling something down from the ether into creation. So again, same message. Come back to presence, okay, you guys? All right. So in your general, to start, you have Queen of Candles. So Queen of Candles here, Queen of Wands. Confidence is really what I'm getting coming through on this. The Queen of Candles does not give a shit. She could, literally could not care any less about what anybody has to say or think about her. So attaching that to Starfish again, okay? If you are someone who maybe you do have a little bit of stage fright with what's going on right now, taking courage and working through that anyway, okay? Don't let this freeze you. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to shine. And that's exactly what the Queen of Candles is all about. She gonna shine, okay? Whether, whether you want her to or not. Whether you like her light or not. She'll tell you to look, you know, there are three other directions you can look, right? <laughs> or you're the one who bought the ticket to the show. Find a way to tap into your inner passion and drive and desire, motivation. Remind yourself of the commitment that you've made to yourself, whatever this is that you're you're working through right now or creating, okay? Uh, <laughs> Two of Swords comes out here too. So it's about a choice here, you guys. I feel like making the decision, drawing back to the commitment here. Once you've made the... Okay, okay. Ah, okay. Thank you, Spirit. You need to make the decision like this is... Like your life depends on it. You need to make this decision to do whatever this is and don't look back. The way that you create this, the way that you bring this into your reality, whatever it is you're creating here, is making that decision and knowing that is the only decision to make. You are not looking back. We're not looking back on, well, what about this? What about that? What about nothing? Okay. Pursue that path. There isn't a wrong path here. Like I said, the only wrong path is not doing anything. So whatever is in front of you as far as decisions go, paths to take, neither or any of them are wrong, but you have to take that path and you need to commit to it. You need to commit to yourself, okay? Things can always change in the future and they will. We're always gonna have, you know, we're gonna take a left there, or right there. There's always going to be more forks in the path but in order to get you on this path, you've got to get your ass on the path, okay? Make the decision to get on there. Make that change. Say yes to change. Mm -mm. Okay, so in your good stuff here, you guys have two of elixirs, two of cups. This is connection. Could be a relationship for some of you. Having commitment come through, that is very much standing out to me. And love. I mean, love has been a big part of what's going on here too. Adventure is standing out to me and jump in here too. There could be, uh, maybe you're in a situation where you're thinking about taking that leap, proposing to someone, making a commitment to someone. Maybe you want to ask somebody out. Um, I say do it. 
Take the leap. Say yes to change. Say yes to adventure. You're only here one time this go around, right? <laughs> so make the most of it. For some of you, there could be a relationship coming forward, a friend, a romantic connection that's possible, maybe a new pet, or uh, strengthening bonds in family. But I feel like this is also uh, you, relationship to yourself, okay? Again, back to commitment. You guys are being supported right now to make this commitment. Not that you're being prevented from making any other moves, but I definitely, I feel this energy of as soon as you step onto a path, whichever path it is you, you choose, there's this rush of energy, like that potential energy that you've been building up, like I said, that finally has somewhere to go. And if you don't make a choice to do something, you're stuck with anxiety, high blood pressure, I don't know. Um, yeah, say yes to connection. All right. Say yes to commitment. This is being rewarded right now when you make that commitment. Okay. High Priestess comes in here too. Um, very moon energy. This is uh, two of elixir is, elixirs is um, Venus in Cancer. High Priestess here. Very moon energy. Pisces, Cancer. Um, these deep emotional realms. I feel like you guys have spent, and this is where the potential energy is coming from, from the great everything. This is also, um, this is the one, <laughs> the river that she's protecting behind her that has all knowledge. Um, that is a part of the one too. So I feel like you're in this portion of your life where you're being readied to be initiated into this next phase, but you have to make that choice to step forward. And as soon as you do the knowledge, all the knowledge that she possesses here comes to you as well. At least you have access to it, right? <laughs> Maybe you don't want all that knowledge all at once. In making the commitment to yourself, you are being committed to as well. Okay. You commit to life. Life commits to you as well. I love that. Yay. And you do have the two little fishies here <laughs> on the post. That's you, Pisces. Okay. So what you don't see coming here, what's in the dark? Eight of Cups. Um, there may be... So Eight of Cups is uh, a need to walk away from something, leave something behind. We recognize something needs to be ended. Um, in this path here, whatever path it is that you choose, the thing that's ending here, what you don't see, is your previous self, right? I think of like the judgment card. Uh, you're hearing this call to take this trek, to take this adventure, to do something new, to, to change, to say yes to change. What you don't realize is the sacrifice or the price that needs to be paid for that is the old you. But that old you is um, very lovingly and with a warm embrace taken back into the energy that is everything, the one. It's not a loss. Uh, it's not a shame, right? It's something there. I don't feel like there's even any, any um, feeling attached to it necessarily. It is a part of this process. It is a part of the cycle. Um, yeah, let's keep moving here. Okay. Uh, Page of Swords here. Eight of Cups is very Pisces energy as well. Page of Swords. What you don't see coming. There may be a need to learn something new. Um, but I feel like this is something that you are going to be doing as you go. I feel like you've been spending a good deal of time if this message is for you. Either you've been spending a lot of time learning about a new skill, learning about starting a business, whatever, starting a YouTube channel. Um, what you don't see is that there is more to learn, but this isn't to, like with jump in coming through, this isn't to deter you, to get you to not make this change or start this adventure. You're just being told here that there will be more to learn. and and. You will be ready for that, okay? You're going to learn as you go. Pay attention for opportunities to learn. Okay. So um, let's get into your obstacle right now. Difficulty at this time. You have four elixirs. Moon and Cancer. A lot of moon. So your emotions, you guys, I do feel... This is... Um, 
Mm, I mean, your emotions, <laughs> stable emotions. Um, the difficulty right now is keeping things balanced, not getting too focused on one emotional experience. So you get stuck there, whether that's, um, pessimism, laziness, anger, um, you're being asked to flow. And that came through with the jump in card to that Andromedan energy all about the flow, yo. All about the flow, yo. Uh, I know you can totally flow, Pisces. There is an energy where you can get uh, stuck on one particular current as well. This is, uh, I feel like this isn't a time that's about swimming against the current, okay? If this is you, if you do feel like everything is pissing in the wind <laughs> right now, please use that as as a, a tip that maybe that's not, maybe there's resistance, okay? There's resistance for a reason. There are times where resistance is our ego trying to stop us from making a change. But if we do go in, like the moon, cancer, high priestess energy is talking about, if we do go in and are introspective and pay attention to where that's coming from, we can start to discern the difference. So your difficulty right now is not missing this opportunity, your time to shine because of fear, because of laziness, because of whatever, okay? You got this. Ace of Cups comes in here next. So there could be there could be a relationship having Two of Cups come through in your good stuff. There could be a new relationship starting. Ace of Cups can symbolize a new relationship. I do feel like this is commitment to yourself, though, as well, like I said. With that Eight of Cups coming through here, there is a need to leave the old you behind. Are you ready to do that? In doing that, this Ace of Cups is ready for you. You get to take this new path, but this is where your, your obstacle is. There may be fear in stepping into this new you because you don't know exactly who that is. Well, let's find out. That's the fun part. It can definitely be fun, okay? Um, fear will always be present, but we don't have to choose to be afraid. And if there is fear and we are afraid, we can choose courage. We always have these choices. All these, all these two of swords here, okay? And this is your hope, too. You're hoping to make a change. You're hoping to make a choice. If you're struggling to make a choice right now, try to, try to figure out where it's stuck in your body. And try to move that through. Go for a walk. Actively try to move that through. Use this symbol that came through in, in the beginning here. Have the intention of moving the block through. You don't even need to know what it is exactly. Before you go to bed here, get this the hell out of here, please, spirit. <laughs> I'm ready to move forward. It's time for action. Okay, Pisces, I love you guys so much, and I hope this was helpful. I am going to move into the extended portion of the reading now. If you want to join me there, there are links in the description of the video. I have them for sale individually, or you can get the membership. Again, personal readings are open. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, you guys. I appreciate the support with growing this channel. I truly, truly do. If um, uh, you feel called to do so, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description as well uh, to tip or donate. It is not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, I love you guys so much. It goes a long way. Thank you, thank you. In the extended, we are going to look at messages from your higher self, direct messages, love and advice, career and advice. And then what's most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. Okay, Pisces, you got this. Time to take action. I know you can do it. And I'm excited to hear uh, what it is you're working on too. Feel free to comment below and let me know. All right, love you guys. Be well.